Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm wearing a familiar road again. Woo! Really risking the on shark rep here. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of play around with this a bit more. Um, I noticed after breaking this in a little bit more, I say this, I'm only filming this maybe a couple hours after having filmed the unboxing. Um, also, I've not properly oiled this yet. I've given it some three-in-one oil just to kind of ease it up a little bit. Uh, honestly, I've been just been pumping it more to kind of make my mind up on it, and it is very good. Um, I will admit, this thing is objectively a very good flipper. And even better, it's an amazing modding platform because if you don't like it, you can make it better. It's a pretty high quality titanium beater. As most BRS knives are. And I mean, sounds pretty good in my opinion. Um, definitely better. And we can't wait to see what it sounds like on carbon honey. And uh, maybe Common Honey will fix a little bit of tap that mine came with. Um, I tried on the latch. It is about exactly how you'd expect it to look. And it works exactly how you'd expect it to work. Um, like just a free floating latch. It's nice that it doesn't go past halfway because of the spacers. And uh, other than that, it's a pretty boring latch. It's nice that it's included though. I think that that's a quite a nice little thing that's included. Still not sure how I feel about the hourglass blade. Definitely think that this design is not amazing. I guess that's why they give you the by handle indicator. Um, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Plus, it's not like it bothers me really. I'm just thinking for the people who are going to buy this or the carbon fiber version. I have heard that the really fancy green carbon fiber that they have just released, and also the um, the Nautilus with the like special carbon fiber, those layers apparently do start to come apart. So I recommend if you're gonna get a carbon fiber one, just get the solid black with the nice fade anna on the inside. Um, I think that'll probably give you the most durable results and obviously carbon fiber is a little bit lighter and so obviously that will give you a nice little uh, whoa, reduction in handle bias now for me I'm not trying to, to drop this knife because like I kind of implied earlier I actually just opened this today and um, yeah it is what it is will this be a mainstay in my collection I don't know might have to try out some channel spaces, see how the balance improves. Um, I like that it's a bit bigger of a knife. It's not actually that wide, I don't think. I'll do a comparison versus some of my other knives. Uh, I don't believe it's actually huge. It just feels quite big. Like this is definitely smaller than the JK Orca. Uh, not the Orca, so the JK Monarch. And the Orca Trainer, actually. But it feels comparable in size. Um, there is no taper like this. There is a slight distal taper this way, right? Like down that way. It gets wider at the bottom basically that way, but not that way. Um, also, if you haven't seen my 200 subscriber thank you video, you know, take a look at that. Take a guess if you know what the special knife is. Uh, the secret mystery knife, which will be revealed eventually because I don't want to show you guys yet. I want to really, I think I already have a couple videos recorded with it actually, but um, that thing is, is really special and uh, should hopefully go in some more views because it's a popular but unique knife. And uh, I think the, the, the variant I have is gonna be a pretty nice little switch up for the channel it will be a mainstay at least for the time I have it um, but yeah this thing is super nice very happy with this just keeping the video short today um, 
so far. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I will eventually fix this tap. Uh, to me, it seems like a crushed washer or something along those lines. But um, anyways, all the stuff you need to know is in the description. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, peace.